meetings to order for Wednesday, February 15th, Board of Selectmen, Memorial Town Hall. Uh, so the meeting's been called to order. Um, we'll start with announcements, if there are any from any board members or from Marlene. I don't have any announcements other than if, unless you'd like to make it. The sure. uh, We're still looking for individuals interested in, in uh, volunteering some time for par or participating in the town's 350th mm -hmm. anniversary. So uh, quite a few people have come forward, yep. but... Um, and then perhaps the next meeting. I did reach out to Kathy Gow as discussed at the mm -hmm. previous meeting, and um, she gave me names of, of people. So I am still reaching out to sure. other individuals. Uh, I don't think we can have enough people that want to be involved, ultimately, with, with the 350th, mm -hmm. which is going to be in 2020. Um, but we need to at least have a steering committee and then have folks be maybe pick a particular uh, event within within our celebration that that might be uh, something that they're interested in. I also was wondering if anybody uh, listening might have been on the 325th um, committee because I understand that was a little before my time, but I understand that that was a, a, a great a group of events mm. and uh, perhaps their expertise on having been through it already would allow the next committee to maybe uh, avoid some hurdles or bumps that may have been run into originally. So even if it's just a sort of a show up and, and offer your expertise, it doesn't mean you have to be on the 350th committee. But I, I think that might be a worthwhile endeavor if anybody's interested in doing that. You can just let Key know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jeff or Ed, do you have any um, announcements? No, thank you. No. OK. Um, Next on the agenda would be the approval of the minutes from January 11th. Is there a motion? Is there a public forum? Well, that's, I, I okay. think that's about a, thank you. I think that's about a particular topic that's okay. further on the agenda. Yeah, I, I move to approve the minutes of 11 January. Um, I can't. Second? I'm not part of this. Well, I'm not on there. <laughs> that's okay. You, you, can. you, you, you could can because it's simply accepting the minutes, but I have no problem seconding it if you're that's more comfortable fine. with that. So I'll second the minutes uh, of January 11th, 2017. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we have our list of our annual appointments that we received. Um, it looks like there's as many... Uh, folks that haven't responded as there are folks that did respond. Um, uh, remember yep. we send out the letter, we say if you don't, if we don't hear back from you, we'll assume you, you uh, want to be. You want to be. Okay. All right. Thank you for that clarification. Okay. So, so the people who on the front of this page key that say yes actually did respond. The folks on the back of this page who did not respond, we take that as an affirmative. Okay, and then there was just a handful of folks that did not want to be reappointed to their particular committees. Okay, thank you. I move I, to reappoint yeah. uh, those individuals who have responded yes and no, as indicated here. Is there a second? I second. Okay, uh, under discussion, and so what we would do is then post those three, I'm guessing, we would post the three who respondents wishing not to be reappointed, right? Lydia will do that, or how are we going to do that? Town clerk, through a town clerk. Okay, all right. Right. Just for clarification. And, so would, go ahead, Marlon. And I was just going to say, for those that have not responded, um, so I understand what Suckman Boyle's motion is we're, we're not, the board is not appointing, reappointing those individuals, correct? No, I, I think, I think, I don't want to speak for Jeff. I believe the motion was to mm -hmm. those that responded, responded yes, yes, those okay. who did not respond would be reappointed to their position. Correct. Okay. And then, the, and then the, and we second it and okay. we're having a discussion now. And then the other three were to respond and sure. so wishing not to be reappointed. That's what we'll need to. Uh, okay post for. Okay. Right. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Oh. Aye. Thank you. Phil, we're on to the DPW director report. Um, are, oh, are we? <laughs> no. 
uh, first up was talking about the, uh, the surplus property. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, sorry for the late correspondence, but with the snow, uh, this is the, there's four pieces that we want. We need the board to approve as surplus equipment. Uh, they're going to be offered on the NSC bid. And I'll just go through them quick. Uh, there's a 1952 sewer jet rod machine, a 1977 electric portable forklift, year unknown plasma cutter, and year unknown a stick welder. Uh, the two bottom items have already been replaced. Uh, we have new equipment for them, so these are just sitting in the garage taking up space. Mm -hmm. We have a fork, you know, a regular forklift that goes on to our bobcat, our skid steer, so we don't need that any longer. Right. That thing is a dangerous piece of equipment anyways, and it doesn't hold that good of a charge. So, And the sewer jet rider, as you can see, 1952 before my time, I guess. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Motion to approve, pass submitted. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 While we're on the DPW reports, Phil, I just wanted to give a shout out to you and the crew um, for those back-to-back -back storms and the, the clearing of snow and, and hydrants. I know they were out today doing widening the roads where, where it needed it and clearing the hydrants. So I, I, think, uh, I think the DPW did a great job. So thank you. Thank you. And I'll you pass, pass along. That'll, I will. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, Marlene, um, we're with you. Topic three about the uh, yes, the uh, preservation community preservation <coughs> uh, letter me. of agreement yeah. uh, between the the town and the community preservation committee, and this is for the um, community preservation committee's uh, authorization of one hundred ninety four thousand six hundred thirty three dollars for the renovations of Smith Academy Park. So the chairman just needs to to sign um, that document. Okay. And that needs to, uh, does that need to be done? Um, right, this is front. already authorized at town meeting last Yes, we already year. authorized this, so, mm -hmm. so does my signature need to take place? Um, in, in, no, no, be notarized that, so that no, one we can do not. after our meeting? So that's probably in the signature okay. folder. All right, so we can take care of that mm -hmm. later. Uh, Jeff or Ed, do you have any questions on that uh, no. No. letter of agreement? Okay, thank you. Uh, the conservation restriction at 69 Old Stage Road. Yes, you have in your packet a uh, conservation restriction agreement. Um, this is between the town and <coughs> Gene Mazik for 69 Old Stage Road. And I have spoken with Jean, and I believe she's, she is here uh, for the purpose of tonight's meeting. If the board is interested, I was able to borrow this from the planning board. It's their only file, mm -hmm. our only copy file. Um, this is the plan, I believe, Jean, that you were referring to. Okay, great, because I'll, I'll need that for the agreement. Uh, and, and that is a referenced um, exhibit in right. the agreement. The other exhibit referenced is a subordination agreement, and no. that is an error. Um, so the only exhibit, to the best of my knowledge, is this plan, correct, Jean? Yes. Okay. Yes, and, if I could. And Mrs. Mag Mazik is here in, in the audience with us. So. Um, okay. Thank you. Just for the people that aren't aware, this is really uh, to conservation restriction on a section of land on Old Stage Road. Mm -hmm. um, and so we... Um, we would just we would need to approve it. I believe our, our town council has already reviewed. Town council the, has the reviewed it, and Mrs. Mazik's council has reviewed it. And everybody's this is kind of the last official uh, piece of the pie uh, for this ongoing process. It's been correct taking a, taking a while, from my understanding. Right. It's approximately thirteen point six seven four two acres. Yep, and. Um, the Conservation Commission is meeting tonight, and I know they expect to take this up um, and will pass on their their support. I am expecting that they will support this. Okay, yeah, actually the Conservation Commission, I believe, was originally meeting last week, mm -hmm. um, but it was the night of one of our storms, um, which is why they rescheduled till this evening. Okay. Um, just FYI, Gene, this. <clears throat> that's what the particular delay with, with the Conservation Committee was um, was about. So this, this 
agreement will have to be notarized. The signatures will have to be notarized. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that can be done tomorrow. But we actually require a vote to yes. uh, to accept. You need to vote the, to accept uh, it and sign it. I move to approve the conservation restriction from Ms. Jean Mazet of the Town of Hatfield, pursuant to Chapter 32, excuse me, Section 32, Chapter 184, Mass General Law, acting by and through its conservation commission by authority of Section 8C, Chapter 40, Massachusetts General Law. Is there a second? I second. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, we will, so the three of us each have to sign off on this, and we have to do it in front of a notary public. Okay, okay so probably later this week we'll, okay. we'll wrap that part of it up. And then I'll be notified with the, because I guess the lawyer needs that to record the deed. Yeah, um, I, we, we'll make sure that Marlene's aware of when the, the third okay. one of us has signed it, and, and then uh, we can notify you. Is okay, that, is that Very good? good. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Do you want this? Well, oh, this the one Marlene had, right? <clears throat> Thank you very much, Jean. Thank you, Jean. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we have a few, uh, few we have two resignations from the um, Recreation Committee that we would need to accept. Oh, okay. I thought Joe Ponskis had already been accepted. Okay, yeah. guess not. No. No. So, um, one of them is from uh, Sylvia Callen, um, who's resigning, and the other resignation is from Joe Ponska. Uh, both were members of the Hatfield Recreation Committee, and uh, we'll need a motion to accept those resignations. So moved. For a second? Yes, for a second. Any further discussion? I would just ask that we had a question at one point whether there were seven members or six members or five. You know, so currently there's seven members. Well, now with the resignation, we're down to five. five, and five is really the number that is supposed to be appointed to that board, right? Correct. So we're so we're fully staffed. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. My reasoning being, I didn't know if we would then have Lydia Post, but we'll just, we're where we need to be. Okay. So, so right. I will notify her that. The committee is a five-member committee. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. All right, Marlene, the um, designer selection process or procedures that were adopted back That's, in 99, we're going to be making a couple changes to update those. Yes, I... Um, 18 years later. Um, what, what prompted this? What prompted this was that the request for qualifications, specifications that I put together for the next phase of the renovation project, design, uh, per, design permitting and construction. And um, I had asked if somebody, you know, they have people on staff at the Attorney General's office that will review those for you. And this, the procedures is a requirement for any community prior to issuing an RFQ or an RFP. And the lady that I was I was working with at the Attorney General's office had asked, you know, if we had a copy of our procedures and I said, we do. So she asked if I would provide them to her and I did that and she um, just suggested the change in bold yeah. and this is this Sorry. is as a result of a change in the statute. So previously it was um, chapter seven, now it's seven C and it was section 38, it's now section 54. 54. And paragraph 11. And then on page three, item 11. Okay. These were adopted by the Board of Selectmen in 1999, and I'm asking that the Board of Selectmen approve the revised. I move copy. to approve the designer selection procedures as submitted. Is there a second? Is there a second? A second, with a question. Yep. Uh, now, these are suggestions from the Attorney General's of what to modify this, correct? Yes, okay. Yes. In bold. In bold. Yes. Yep. Just to, right. In bold. Just, she, uh, she recommended that we update the procedures to reflect that change. Okay. Those changes. I will say that given that it's an 18-year-old document, to really just change one sentence and, and add a new <laughs> chapter, 
uh, under the Mass General Law. It's, uh, we were pretty on target all, all this time, so mm. um, nice job. Uh, is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, phase two town hall renovation update. I just want to advise the board that, um, as you know, the Architectural Access Board um, scheduled a hearing uh, with Hatfield on uh, our the, on the on the status of our of phase two of the renovation project, and that was rescheduled to last uh, Tuesday. No, I'm sorry, Monday, the 13th, and we. No, I'm sorry, that was this week, Monday, the 13th. Oh, yeah. And that meeting was canceled. They will, and that, if you recall, that was a rescheduled meeting from a, a meeting that was scheduled for Prior earlier. to that. Right. Yep. Uh, so that was going to be via telephone conference, and I expect to hear from them as to when it will be rescheduled. And just simply to, to put that at that hearing, that hearing we will be presenting um, our uh, plans forward and they will receive a copy of our RFQ and actually if, by the time we ha have that hearing that next hearing I expect that that RFQ will already be issued okay. um, so it you know will be advertised. Those uh, the two postponements that have taken place were because the architectural access board changed the dates it had nothing to do with the town of Hatfield. That's, that's correct. I, I just you know, in case anybody was wondering or That's curious, correct. just wanted to make sure that it, it was at their... It's their uh, hearing, yeah. It's they their hearing. It. Um, and both were as a result of... Um, snow or potential snow, snow right. Yeah. Maybe they should stay away from Mondays. <laughs> mm. Okay. Thank you, Marlene. You're welcome. The next item, the FRTA, is an update. Ed attended the uh, Franklin Regional Transit Authority meeting scheduled last week. And yes, I went to the meeting last Friday, and they mm -hmm. talked about placing in a bus stop between Danko and the medical building and then putting in a shelter. Mm -hmm. There was further discussion about a second bus stop that they wanted to put in town, but it hasn't been determined. I did, I did discuss possibly uh, CNS, but they said CNS does not have defined shifts, meaning if the shift's at four, but the trucks are there, they have to stay, and the buses need a defined schedule. Uh -huh. I then suggested, did they talk to anybody else in town? They said they approached the uh, Council of Aging, <coughs> and the Council of Aging uh, about four or five years ago said they were somewhat happy with their own little service that they ran, and then the only other thought I had was possibly maybe getting some contact with the school, saying if there's any charter schools, kids that might use that service from here to Greenfield. So to be determined yet where the second stop is, I'm, I'm not positive. So, I mean, if anybody has any other ideas of where to, the second shop, stop should go, then we'd love to hear it. Their bus route... Uh I should ask, is their bus route basically along Route 5, though, or are they actually, yeah, willing, are they actually willing to come into town? Well, they said they would, they would discuss Given the, it. Given the ridership, if right. they, yeah, okay. they would be willing to discuss, discuss it. So, okay. I mean, right now they're looking at possibly Saturday service, but they would, they would want everybody to pitch in for Saturday service. And I said I, I'd need more information about ridership from town and stuff before... I'd even present that to the town because right now the, the bus stop in my mind is sort of serving people going to the medical center from out of town. It may be also be serving some people locally to some of the businesses there, but without some kind of a survey of ridership. Yeah, it's hard to know. Right. Okay. So that's basically the update on that. Okay. When are they going to build the uh, shelter? In the spring. Uh, in the spring, yes. So, Marlene actually did some work on that prior yes, of uh, discussion. Been around for a few years. Yeah. yeah. So. Great. Well, Danko was a big part of that to start. Yeah. They wanted it. Them in the medical building. Yeah. And then a medical. I think it started before the medical building was built, if I'm not mistaken. And then, yeah. So, great. Thanks, Ed. <coughs> okay. So, 
More, more to follow, more to come. Mm. Okay. So they're still picking up people now, correct? Yes, they are. Except we don't have a cold fine people. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> and wet people. Well, Ed and I had a conversation the other day, and, and I, I'm curious to know the number of people that they are picking up um, along, route, along five. route 5 and 10 here in Hatfield, and, and, or where are they? When I had conversations with, with a representative several months ago, they were making two stops. One of them was at Danko. There was an, so we're, in other words, if there's people there, the bus was stopping. Right. But they wanted to establish just two sure. stops. Um, so I'm interested to know where the other, if they are stopping somewhere else and, and how many people are there. So. I'll find that out. I will talk to them. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Do we have anything under um, any last minute? Anything that came up since the posting? No. Okay. So, um, uh, move to adjourn this portion of the meeting. Right. Um, is, there, is there a second to that? Yes. Second. Okay. So there's a second, and, and the reason for that is we're, we'll be meeting um, in another forty minutes with the uh, with the finance committee to begin the process of uh, going through the various departments' budgets. So. Phase one, night one of that. So all those in favor of the adjournment, say aye. 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 Thank you. Thanks, John.